Well, howdy there, friends. I hope you're doing great today, wherever you are and whatever you're up to. Welcome to Creation Station. I think that's one of the names that we've settled on. It's certainly simple and easy enough to say, but the ultimate is that it's a review show that helps you, the consumer, find the best products to help you succeed in your creative endeavors. Now, this is a part of what I do for you, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and continue watching, because that's what lets Google know that this content and this channel is worth watching. Um, so today, we're gonna put up the phones against each other in a round and a big battle of, uh, maybe a battle royal, basically. Battle royal between two phones, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? But an iron phone match, let's go with that. And we're gonna place the Honor Magic 4 Lite versus the Google, the GP6A. Um, we're gonna unbox them, of course, as you can see in the gear, we're gonna be talking about the um, the pluses, the negatives, the uh, the good points, the bad points, and everything in between, aside from GP6A, nearly deafening me. Um, we're, we're, not we're not gonna hold that against it. We're not gonna hold that against it because I know a lot of people have still got some hope for this plucky little phone uh, and, uh, and, and, and we'll see just how well it does. First thing that I wanna show you guys um, because I now have it here, I went and deliberately picked this up, is the 66 watt Honor Supercharge. This is one of the big selling points as far as I'm concerned for the Honor Magic 4 Lite. There are numerous selling points, as we've covered in other videos, so I'm not doing this out of bias. Um, the fact, as well, that you've got a decent-sized cable that comes there. It's obviously as long as my, almost as long as my arm width. But this charges, you know, like almost 20 times faster than any other charger that I have experienced. 66 watts, really fast. It will take the Honor Magic 4 Lite from zero um, all the way up to 100% in probably about 15 minutes or less. Rocks everything together. You're gonna look over my shoulder and we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna put these two phones through their paces. So come on in. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice is the size differentiation in boxes. Now, of course, that is because in the Honor Magic 4, you have the Super Charger, and also because the phone is a little bit bigger. Now, the first thing that came out of the Honor Magic 4, obviously, was the SIM pin, which obviously you pop that in, you put your SIM in, all that kind of stuff. But there is a good differentiation in size, there's probably at least another third. Depending on how you look at it, uh, Google may have the edge on uh, economy and, and packing it in such a way that it is a more economic phone. Um, but as we will see when we start pulling things out, how different these two things are. So again, as you can see there, you can already tell the size differentiation in the phones. This little phone was wrapped up in this little piece of plastic and it comes with your warranty card and everything else. It comes again with the power pack. It doesn't come with headphones, neither does this one. Uh, the Google Pixel 6a, mainly because again they're trying to get away with that and trying to get away from that, obviously to give you more size uh, on uh, storage and on camera and everything else. It's the thing that again with the GP6a that is very noticeable is it doesn't come with any form of charger at all, but it does come with this little connectivity cable which literally connects one phone to another, meaning that you can transfer all your data from one phone to another Really simply, the only problem with that is the, uh, can, or the the cable refused to hold its connection. And I don't know if that was a problem with something I was doing or if that's a problem with something that the phone was, uh, was experiencing. So, let's go on, shall we, and see how easy it is to open up. So if I come in here and I pop my thumb on, it opens straight away this time before it was refusing to open up. This one here, again, the button's on the side, really nice swish, works really, really well. And again, you can see all the different apps with which the phone can hold. Uh, there's hardly any on this one as of yet, obviously because it's one that I haven't been using all that much. Um, so let's go straight to the camera, shall we? Because that's a really big selling point, obviously, for me. Uh, again, as we can see, if I flip both cameras around, yeah, you've got a little bit more light and a little bit more dark just on there. And we are going to now explore very carefully um, how it looks when we put it up for one of our paintings. 
Okay, so this is a custom little painting that I have done for a client that's going to be going to England later on this week. It's been all varnished and everything looks really nice. So now I want to take a photo of it and to show my client just how this picture looks. So I come up here, as you can see with the Honor Magic 4 it takes a semi-decent photo. It takes a semi-decent photo. However, when you try to zoom in, it becomes a little bit grainy, a little pixelated. Different angles, of course, are going to give you different effects. And, yep, yeah, you can work around, and it does. It gives you a semi-decent photo. So if we go in, that's with the normal lens. If we zoom out a little bit with the wide lens, again, it gives you a semi-decent photo. The flash on it is quite powerful, and that's using AI technology, which uh, is the flash. Pop, there we go, a nice little flash there. It's been varnished and everything, but it does, it actually gives you a really nice little photo. It's not too bad at all. Again, because we're working in decent light. So let's take a look at the GP6E, shall we? And take a look at that photo. Now, uh, having to zoom out in order to use this, remember there is no wide lens on this one at all. It gives an alright photo. It's maybe slightly better quality than the Honor Magic 4. Um, but again, when you zoom in, it is quite pixelated, which is not what was described. When you when you zoom in on this phone, it is meant to zoom up to A3 size images. It's meant to look absolutely flawless. If we zoom up there, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, when we do it with the, the big uh, painting in the background, you know, it creates a nice image or a nice enough image. We haven't got an auto rotate. Uh, let's see. No, we haven't got an auto rotate. There we go. There we go. We do. It's just that, again, it's a little bit more clunky to use. So, as you can see there, with, with a different image, it does actually come out all right. It's not, it's not too bad at all. It's not too bad. Let's now switch over to video mode, shall we? And uh, on both phones. So, we'll begin with the one that I've got in my hand and a normal video mode. Here. Now, whenever I'm teaching, I want to know that my clients and my students are going to have the best experience possible. What really works well for the GP6E is the fact that it has stability mode on, which means there is no shake. So if I'm shaking all over the place, it is not going to shake um, with me, which is super cool. Now, if you zoom in, so one time zoom, yep, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we go to two time zoom. Again, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. You still get a lot of detail there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's not, that's quite impressive. Okay, now I have to say that is quite impressive. Uh, you've obviously got different settings on here, such as time lapse and slow motion, and then panorama and photosphere and lens. You've of course got your night mode and your portrait, which we've talked about in the other video, which is uh, the portrait mode, especially in selfie mode, is a really awesome mode, uh, mainly because it blurs out all detail in the background, which is super cool. You've got a decent zoom on there as well. That is a pretty decent zoom. I have to say, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm, quite, I'm more impressed with it in this lighting than I was with it before. Again, for portrait mode, you don't have a wide lens though, so that is as far out as it's going to zoom. So in order for me to get a decent photo, you know, you're gonna have to zoom quite a long way out to about there. So let's take a look at the Honor Magic 4 now, shall we? So first of all, we take it into video mode. Again, does nicely, comes up quickly. All right, video, not bad at all, not bad at all. For, a, for an entry level phone, it's not bad. Now when we zoom in, again, in this lighting, yeah, you can start to see it's become a little bit more green, a little bit more pixelated. Not as high level detail as the GP6A. And that's five times zoom, so if we zoom into eight times zoom, Again, yeah, you've still got some detail on there. You've still got some decent detail on there, but not enough, not enough just now. Again, for someone uh, that's been doing, that's been in the business for 20 years, you know, your, your clients expect you to have really awesome, um, you know, footage and everything. And that's one of the big selling points that's there. My client doesn't want a, a beard hair, so I'm, I'm just gonna move that on out. Um, so, 
all right photo, uh, all right for photo, all right for, for video. The advantages that you've got here is you've got Pro, Panorama, HDR, Time Lapse, Stickers, Super Macro, Dual View, High Res, and Story, which is super cool. Let's see what the Super Macro's like. It doesn't do bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Like, it's clear enough, and that's that's four centimeters. So optimal distance is about four centimeters, I say, so this is about there. And yeah, that is not bad at all. Okay, now I don't know what the story mode is. I might have to have a, a look and see. Oh yes, so this is a really cool little feature of this phone, of the Honor Magic 4. I'd forgotten about this one, actually, is that you can create, you can take all these different pictures. Let, let's, let's actually just do this right here. And so if you watch. That is a pretty cool video editing piece of software that's, uh, that's there. Uh, you don't get that in the, uh, in the GP6E, um, but that is a really super cool uh, piece of software. I'd forgotten that that was there. I genuinely had. Uh, um, so, when you come in and you explore these a little bit more, again, as we wrap up the, the video, you can see obviously size differentiation is slight, but for me, it's a bigger thing. For the Honor Magic 4, it goes all the way around from corner to corner, pretty much. For the GP6A, it doesn't. Uh, you can see that it does cut out in certain parts. Uh, again, refresh, let's just see how quickly. So, ooh, there's a little bit of lag, there's a little bit of lag. Whereas with the Honor Magic 4, there's no lag. It works, it works, it works fine. You know, both work pretty fine. Okay. Uh, the storage, I think, if I remember correctly, is pretty much the same. The sound quality on the Honor Magic 4 is obviously very, very good. The sound quality on the uh, GP6A is deplorably disastrous, and I would not recommend anybody um, to use that without headphones. Uh, other things that uh, we want to just quickly throw out there as well, that I didn't do a test with this one. Let's see. Uh, flash. Now, let's see how this... Okay, that, so that's a night light as opposed to a flash. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's got some, that's, that's a redeeming quality. Well done, Google. Well done, Google. Um, top shot, we haven't got timer, obviously we do. Uh, you can get the full image at 4.3, the wide image at 16.9. Uh, I believe the specs are more or less the same in terms of the video. I don't believe there's anything that's really... So yeah, you've got up to 4K, ultra high resolution on video. You can do 60 frames a second, 30 frames a second, or auto speech enhancement. You can do speech enhancement as well on the GP6A and on the Honor Magic 4. It's still wanting to play. It's still want to play all these different things. There we go, right. Okay, so on the GP6A, uh, sorry, on the Honor Magic 4, uh, we have 1080 and that's all it goes up to, uh, 21.9 uh, and 720 and then 1080 um, there. And you don't have a lot of the other uh, bells and whistles that you have on the GP6A. Um, but there are, again, it, th there's more on one than there is on other, and then it's just different more than anything else. Um, your frame rate, I believe, is 30 frames a second on this one, on the Honor Magic 4. Um, so, yeah, there's, there is a slight differentiation there for sure. Now we're going to get into the final things. The other thing that I noticed that uh, the GP6A doesn't have that really requires, and it is kind of essential, and that's why I brought it up right at the beginning, the SIM pin. It doesn't have a SIM pin. As far as I can see, it, this does not have a SIM pin in it. Now, you need a SIM pin in order to be able to do, well, to work with your phone. Now, you can download your SIM card. Um, maybe this is the direction they're going on, but there is no SIM pin with this. So that, again, is a big thing. So I think now we need to go back into uh, our little studio, make it all look professional, uh, where I give you the final verdicts. Okay, folks, well, it is time for final verdicts. We have been pitting the Google 6A 
Mobile phone. Against the Honor Magic 4 Lite. We have talked about all things. Picture quality is very slight difference. Video quality, very slight difference. The Google Pixel 6a does have the ability to record in 4K high definition. Big thing. Um, it also has the ability to record 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second with the uh, uh, Google Pixel 6a, the phone, the, the, the camera quality slightly better as well. But here's the big thing. Price. So, the Honor Magic 4 Lite cost me £150 to purchase. Now we've talked about how I did it. I went to the Amazon warehouse where they were doing either refurbs or where it was excess display stock. 150 quid. The Google Pixel 6e cost me double that. 300 pounds. Now why is this a big thing? Well, it's a big thing because if something is gonna cost me double then I want double the value, okay? So if I'm spending 150 pounds on a, on a semi-decent phone camera that records well, that can do an all right job in, in decent lighting, I want to know that's going to be good. But if I'm spending 300 pounds, double the amount, on a phone camera, that's alleged to be one of the best phone cameras around, I need to know, my goodness, that this is gonna be an awesome phone camera. It is gonna do everything that I want. Now that can record 60 frames per second, but in my view, when you zoom out, and I've done this on, on sitting on the sofa, you can see the pictures for yourself. When I've zoomed out as far as I can go, eight times zoom on one and five times zoom on another, the difference is marginal. There's no wide lens on the Google Pixel 6e and in low lighting it is as grainy as the honor magic 4 and it costs double now to buy these phones brand new they cost you know in excess of four five six hundred seven hundred pounds as we've seen the the google pixel 6a is disastrous when it comes to listening to things without using headphones I'm still feeling the side effects from using the Google 6 today. I can still feel my eardrum not quite right. It doesn't come with a charger. It doesn't come with a, a SIM pin. So for me personally, the phone that I have never ever been so glad to see the back of, that I can't wait to return, is the Google Pixel 6e and my advice folks would be if that is your phone and that's the phone that you choose don't it is smaller it's heavier it has some redeeming features but what killed this phone stone dead for me was when we did the test live on air last week and you could see my reaction i had not listened to sound on that phone before deliberately because I wanted to do some of these things live so you could get my honest and genuine reaction. But as someone who's been around from the days when Leonardo da Vinci was painting the Sistine Chapel and he wanted me to pose and model for him, I jest. It needs to be simple. The 6A is clunky. It's glitchy. It's, it's, it's thick. It is a thick, heavy foam. The sound quality, unfortunately, is disastrous. The camera quality on it, however, is good. It's very, very good. But not enough to warrant double the price for what I paid for the Honor Magic Lite. Coming up, folks, in one of our next episodes will be the review of the Huawei P40, which I'm super excited about arriving. It's arriving this week. And we're going to pit it against the Honor Magic 4 Lite and see how they pan up. 
So make sure to stay tuned and watch out for that because it's going to be super, super cool. If you've got suggestions as well for things that you would like us to review and things for you would like us to cover, we're going to be looking at paint in one of our upcoming videos. We're actually going to be looking at the difference between varnish because if you're an artist, that's a really, really big thing for you. And we're going to be looking at the Motip varnish, which I have used a number of times and stinks and one that I have used I don't know hundreds of times and I sell with clients all over the world called Plastico uh, and I believe both come from Germany so we're going to be putting those against each other in an upcoming show we're also going to be looking at different products different paints we've got system three here we've got um I'm trying to see what the other stuff we've got Reeves as well which we're going to be painting against each other Windsor and Newton versus uh, Pablo as well oil paints and so many more things so make sure you do following three things like share and subscribe that's one two tell your friends because it could be the very thing they need to hear in their in their time of struggle three go and watch another video because that lets youtube know this content is worth watching you can go and check out our artist heart show we can see me singing uh, reviewing paintings doing paintings and having a great time and it's a blast of energy that's 30 minutes long it's amazing great fun you can see me talk about mind body and soul stuff because I deal with a lot of mental health stuff, I deal with a lot of psychological um, stuff that's going on, I'm actually a behavioural psychologist in training. You can see me paint, you can see me talk, you can see me do all sorts of different things, and you're going to have a blast on this channel, and I am so glad that you have found this channel and you're here, and we're connecting together. So if you've got any questions for me, if you have anything that you would like me to review, let us know in the comments section below. Come and visit our website because we've got some awesome things on there. You can order your own custom paintings, pets, portraits, landscapes, seascapes, you name it, we do it and you're gonna have a blast. So, to wrap up folks, between the Google Pixel 6e and the Honor 4 Magic Lite, which one am I choosing? I'm choosing the Honor, Honor 4 Magic Lite. It's a great phone, really easy to use, a lot of fun, really enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed this video folks. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next one. Namaste.